Hello students, I hope you are doing beautiful mathematics. In this particular video, we will learn a bit of algebra. In fact, we will learn a very simple inequality from algebra and we will solve a problem from the ISI BSTAT BMATH entrance uh, using that tool. So let's look at the problem. The problem says that if ABC are positive real numbers, satisfying AB plus BC plus CA is equals to 12, what is the maximum value of ABC, the product of the three numbers? In order to solve this type of problem, it is helpful to know the arithmetic mean, geometric mean inequality. Now, in this particular channel, we have talked about these two inequalities quite a bit. So, you, if you want to understand why they work, you can look at some of the proofs that we have discussed. If you are a student at Chinta, then this is discussed in the algebra module. But I'll give you the statement of the inequality. It says that if you have a bunch of positive numbers, let's say n positive numbers, then you can calculate the arithmetic mean or average of the numbers. The arithmetic mean will always be larger than the geometric mean you multiply the numbers and you raise that product to the power 1 over n that is the geometric mean so this is always larger it additionally says that the largest possible value of geometric mean is the arithmetic mean this is the second line of the inequality which sometimes students forget the largest possible value of the geometric mean is actually equal to the arithmetic mean. And that equality happens when all the numbers are actually equal. A1 is equal to A2 is equal to A3 is equal to A4 and so on. All the numbers are equal. Okay, with that in mind, we know that we can solve this problem in a couple of ways. We know that AB plus BC plus CA is equals to 12. And all of the numbers are positive numbers. So, what we can do is we can calculate the arithmetic mean of the numbers. And we know that it is greater than or equal to the geometric mean of the numbers. Okay? So, now we know AB plus BC plus C is 12. So, 12 by 3, that is 4, is greater than or equal to ABC whole square raised to the power 1 third. Now, I can raise both sides to the power 3. So, if I do that, I have 4 cubed, which is 64, is greater than or equal to ABC whole square. So, 8 is greater than or equals to ABC. That is the final answer. There is a little bit of mathematics involved, conceptual mathematics involved in this last step. I want to talk about it for a minute. What I just did is that I extracted the square root on both sides. And when I did that, I actually kept the inequality as it is. Now, why did I do that? Well, if you look at this, fx is equals to square root of x. If you draw the picture of this function or do some analysis using calculus, you will see that this is an increasing function, an increasing function, and everything is positive. If everything is positive, if I have an increasing function, then square root of a number, if I take, on, take it on both sides, then I can preserve the inequality. This is true about all increasing numbers, uh, functions. So if I did take a log on both sides, I could have taken it. Now, here is a challenge question. Why is it true for increasing functions that if I apply an increasing function on both sides of an inequality, the inequality remains the same? It does not flip. It's a conceptual question. I'm asking this to you as a challenge. If you can answer this, put it in the comment section. I hope you learned something from this video. If you are interested in ISI and CMI entrance programs, 
or mathematical olympiad programs then you can check the link in the description we have wonderful programs on that and i think you'll find them interesting thank you for watching the video i'll see you in the next one bye